Hey there, it's Laura, and it's time for Upper Body Supersets. We'll be using a resistance band to work the chest, shoulders, back, and arms. Each exercise is 50 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. Are you ready to work hard? Let's go. Okay, let's get warmed up. So you're holding the band and just take it side to side. Let it go across your chest. So we got a pretty quick warm up. Take it up and over. So we're gonna start with the push muscles, chest, front of the shoulders, back of the arms. Bring it up and back. Try to get it behind your head if you can. So we're gonna go through the first block. And then take it side to side one more time. Then we'll start our first combo. All right, so take that band around you. Now, I like to reach through the handles if you've got a handle band, and then I just grab the band itself. So make sure you've got enough tension on that band. All right, so we've got our chest press. Bring it forward. So you're staying about chest height with that. So adjust the band as you go. If you feel like you can't get to full range of motion, you can loosen up the resistance on that band. If it feels too easy, add a little more resistance, right? Press forward, bring it together. So keep those abs engaged throughout. Now the first muscle group you're probably gonna feel is the front of the shoulder, but you're also working the chest and the back of the arm. And time. Okay, next movement. I kind of quit that a little early, didn't I? <laughs> chest fly. So we got our arms wide, we've got a slight bend, and we're gonna cross the elbows on top of one another or past each other. Okay, so switch the top arm each time. Cross, cross. So really open up so you get that full range of motion. You wanna go to that point where you feel it. Nice little stretch and then close, open. Are you feeling anything yet? Ooh, that's getting in there. Okay, almost there and time. Oh, that burnt. Okay, so we've got low to high chest press. So make adjustments. You may be stronger here than that chest fly. Okay? Now press up. Up. So if you need to, I just realize it's too easy, so I make it a little tighter. So I'm reaching up on a diagonal. I bring the hands toward one another. Remember, if you need to lighten the resistance or rest a little bit longer, because these are all the same muscle groups, we just want to make sure we work it really well. So we're working on an angle. Loosen up as you go. If you feel like your range of motion is suffering, definitely do that. I don't want you to cut your range of motion short. You could even cross at the top. So just go up on an angle. Time. Okay. Rest, we gotta repeat those. Oh no, she didn't. Oh yes, I did. So we got that horizontal, straight out chest press. Yay. Okay, here we go. Was that not the creepiest smile? Ow. Ow. Now be honest with yourself. Could you handle more resistance? I'm not asking if you want to, but could you handle it? Those are two different questions. Ow.
So make sure that band is not just jerking you back, okay? Control it. You're working both ways. That's, that's the beauty of a resistance band workout is you're working on the way in and the way out. Because you're resisting that resistance, right? The double resistance. And, ugh. Oh, okay, chest fly. <laughs> I don't feel a thing. What are you talking about? Okay, open up. You probably need that at this point. All right, here we go. Cross. Cross the elbow. Sometimes I like to move my feet around <laughs> to distract myself. <laughs> Squeeze in. Squeeze in. This is a great workout to do if you're traveling. We, my family and I, we lived in an Airstream trailer for about a year and a half. I had to get really creative with workouts. Band, TRX, body weight. can be done and I keep stopping a second early don't be don't be like me don't be like me <laughs> but I have the benefit of knowing what's coming unless you just you know skimmed through the workout already then you know what's coming low to high chest press now I'm gonna stagger my feet now you can always stagger your feet if you feel like you're arching your back you get a little more um, it's a little bit easier to brace your core that way so you don't arch, trying to get that up there. If you find you are doing that though, if you're doing stuff like this, it's too tight, okay? Loosen up. Bring it together. Okay, after this we get to move on, because I know you don't feel your shoulders enough. <laughs> you're like, say what? That's right. What's worth doing is worth overdoing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to put a disclaimer in the description. Okay. We're going to do one arm, then the other. That way you can adjust it more easily. I'm going to start with my weaker side. I like to start with my weaker side, just so I'm not always favoring. Okay. Yeah. Front raise front raise. Now see how I, I made it too tight. Bend in the elbow. So think about getting that elbow up. Now sometimes I might even feed it through here. Oh, that's better. Now if you got a handle band, you can do this. If you've got one of those long loops, you could do this as well. Flat band, not so much. I'm just trying to get my elbow up. Basically, I just modified the movement because my my band is super tight and time that got ugly okay so i'm going to feed my hand through make adjustments where you're standing Now, this, this is my stronger side. Let's see how that goes. Oh, so much better. Up. Now, the reason I always start with my weaker side is because if I always start with my stronger side, it will always be stronger. Now, no one is perfectly symmetrical, but you want as small a discrepancy between the sides as possible. Too big an imbalance between the sides can lead to potential injury so it's good to favor that weaker side so you close the gap in strength remember get that elbow up it's not about your hand that's why I'm not worried about holding on to the band and time okay so I'm gonna put one handle down I'm going to hold on to the sides, the fabric part of the handle, and I've got an overhead tricep press. 
okay? So you're going to full extension on the arms. Hold onto that band any way that's comfortable for you. So you're going into a stretch as well. You want to go through a nice full range of motion. All right, you've only got 10 seconds. Then we're going to do one arm and then the other on a pull down or a press down. And time. Okay, again, I'm going to start with my weaker side. I've got this, I'm hanging on for dear life. Okay, so my thumb is in. Do a test rep, okay? All right, here we go. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. My elbow's out to the side, my thumb is in. Don't let that band pull you back in. Resist it. Remember, you're, you're working both ways. You gotta be able to straighten that arm at the bottom. So it's like Goldilocks, right? <laughs> Just the right amount of tension. Straighten and bend. I like this one because it's really easy to get just the right amount of tension. And time. Okay, we're gonna go back to the overhead tricep with both arms. So this time, I'm gonna step this way. Sometimes it does make a difference on the line of pull on that band, and then we'll do the other arm. All right, and go up. So you're gonna, obviously you're gonna feel that arm you just worked a little bit more. That's okay, we'll balance it out. Fully extend the arms. Nice job. Are you feeling the back of your arms? You might be feeling the shoulders too, they're working. Now remember, nobody likes when I say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Doing strength training is not gonna directly burn fat off of any area of your body, okay? And time. So doing crunches is not going to lean out your abs, okay? Only a calorie deficit can do that. You ready? Okay, go. So make sure you got a good grip on that. Push down. Remember, there is no spot reduction. You might see things on social media, how to get toned arms. Indirectly, you're working the muscles. You're working the muscles. You're strengthening the muscles. But you have to uncover those muscles by reducing your body fat. And that's a calorie deficit, not a crazy one. Getting enough sleep, eating enough protein. Nutrition is gonna be the biggest part. That's the hardest part for most people, I know. And time. Okay, so we're moving on. We're now to the pull muscles. We're gonna do a bent over row. You're gonna be stronger here on pretty much any of the other exercises. So I'm gonna step my feet apart. I'm gonna cross the handles and row. Nice flat back. You don't wanna be rounded, you don't wanna be tucked. Lift your tailbone. Getting those elbows back. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. So you're pulling those handles toward your hips, but don't think about your hands. Think about your elbows going back. Don't feel like you have to go the same speed I am. 
Keep those abs engaged. You're holding that hinge movement. So that's core strength. And one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hands through the handles. We're gonna be pulling out, back, with the pulling the band apart. This is called a pull down. Back. So as you're pulling down and back, you're pulling the band apart. That's where your resistance comes from. So think about depressing the shoulder, okay? Retracting, depressing. Because we're working through the lats, upper back, biceps. You're going to get some forearm in there. Really squeeze back. And time. Woo. Okay, we're going to go back to that bent over row. So stand on your band. I'm going to make it a little bit harder. I'm going to reach through, grab a little bit lower. Go. Keep those abs engaged. Keep your tailbone lifted. Don't tuck your tail. Bend those knees. Chest should be lifted. Those hands don't have to get all the way back. So if you're feeling a lot of low back, pull your abs in a little bit more. Brace your core, okay? If the core is working, the abs are working, the back doesn't have to work quite as hard. If you're not using your abs, your back's going to work harder. And time, okay. Lat pull down. Remember, you create the resistance, right? You've got to make sure there's enough resistance to challenge the muscle groups. So if you're just starting out, you're just learning the motion. That's okay. You are where you are. Don't judge yourself because you're not perfect at something yet. Nobody starts off perfect at anything. You're gonna get stronger over time. You gotta be patient and you gotta be consistent. Nothing happens overnight. It takes time. Pull apart. Now if it's getting to the point where you can't pull apart, take your hands a little farther apart on the band. Give yourself a little less resistance. All right, we got an upright row. So we start with our hands together and we're gonna pull apart like a V shape. You're only bringing the hands level with the chest. Elbows are shoulder height. Pull apart. Now I like to have my thumb higher than my pinky. So you don't want to get those hands super high, but do get those el uh, elbows shoulder height. Remember, you go at a speed that works for you. How are you feeling? Are you warmed up? Are you feeling worked? Only 10 more seconds. And time. Okay, bicep. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love working upper body. It's my favorite. Lower body, not so much. <laughs> Down. But I do it anyway.
Keep those wrists straight. Keep those elbows behind you. Don't let those elbows come forward so you can touch your shoulders. Not necessary. We're almost done. How do you feel about that? Oh. Now, if you get to the point where you're starting to lose your form, a little looser. Come on, you can do it. Time. Oh. Okay, we got a hammer curl, and that's it. We're done. So palms in, thumbs at the top. Let's see, I think I'm going to stand on with this foot. Give my left side a chance. All right, here we go. Up. There we go. I had to shift my handle. Now, if you've got one of those long loop bands, you could have your hands this way. You're just pronating, okay? Supinating, I should say. And to try to keep the shoulders out of it. So what do I mean by that? Is don't do this. See how my elbow comes forward, my shoulder's trying to help desperately. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. And time. Woo. Nice job. Open up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Now, if you have really tight shoulders and you can't bring your hands together, just open up this way. You feel it across the chest, front of the shoulders. Excellent job. Now bring one arm up. <laughs> Hopefully they feel a little heavy. <laughs> That's a good sign. If they feel a little tight tomorrow, that's a good thing, means you challenged yourself. Now, if you're sore for like three or four days, you overdid it. Okay, that's too much. Other way. And just remember, soreness is not always the indicator that you had a good workout. It just means you did something your body wasn't used to. But you don't have to feel sore every time for it to be a good workout. Uh, so one more stretch. Come down. And then just release your low back. You did an awesome job. You really did. If you like this workout, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Leave a comment and let me know what other workouts you'd like to see. Bring it up. Big inhale. Exhale. And if you'd like to see other resistance band workouts, check out this playlist over here. You have a fantastic day. I will see you next time.